Hello everyone, in today's video, I'll show you how to save user input as a variable in JavaScript. I'll do that with the help of a very simple example. So I have Sublime Text Editor. You can use any text editor that you want. So this is an untitled file. I'll save this file as uh, a HTML file on my desktop, index.html. So if I minimize this, you can see indeed there is a document, uh, a web document called index. And this is how it is absolutely empty at the moment because we haven't done anything. So I'll probably uh, keep them side by side so we can see what we are doing. Okay, so HTML tag. And just to make things simple, I will remove this and I'll start working within the body tags so we want to create a user input to be able to capture the the value that they type in so input tag and i will give it uh, a type of number we want a number value to be typed in and we want to capture the value of that number so if i save it now and refresh this you can see that there is an input field that will accept a number. So I'll remove this as well, just to make things very, very simple. And I'll give it an ID of uh, user input. Okay. We also want to create a button and a closing button tag. Okay. And we want to say, click me. Save it. And that's how the button should look like. I also want to create a diff element. So an opening diff tag and a closing diff tag. And I will say, what is my commission? So we will be calculating commission on a sales amount that is entered by the user in this field and we'll calculate the commission on the basis of that input. So save it. And that is how it should look like now. This is the input element. This is the uh, inner HTML of this div element. And this is the button that uh, says click me. So we will have to provide an ID to this uh, div element as well. And I'll say user question. And on the click of this button, we want to run a function. So we have to create an on click event. And on the click of this button, we will run a function called commission, which we have not created as yet. So now I will create this function with the help of JavaScript. And I will open the script tag. And I will remove this as well. Okay. And within the opening and closing script tag, I will start writing my script. So we're creating a function called commission. So the way you create a function is to simply use the function, the word function, and then provide the name of the function. So control C and control V. This is the name of the function and then opening curly, uh, curly bracket and closing curly bracket. And within these two curly brackets, we have to type our code. I'll create a variable var and the name of the variable is gonna be stored value. And I'll use a method called document.getElementById. So we're cre creating a variable called stored value we're using a method in javascript document is an object and this is the document uh, in the javascript so document refers re document refers to this this area and within this document we are targeting an element with the help of id and we want to target this element and the this element and the name of this element is the id of this element is user input so i'll copy this and i'll paste it here okay. 
just so you can see and we want to capture whatever value is inside so dot value property okay let me make it a bit bigger so whatever user types in we want to so this value whatever the value is will be assigned to this value with the help of this method document dot get element by id this method is targeting this id finding trying to find an element with the help of id and this is the element that has an id of user input and then we'll capture that value we also want to use this method again to change this value to show commission here okay so i'll say document dot get element by id this time we want to target this element this element and the id of this element is user question control c and control control c and control v and we want to change the inner html and this is the inner html of this element and we want to change this inner html by this variable okay so at the moment i'm simply displaying this value and then we'll apply a mathematical function to find the percentage of whatever amount is added here okay and if i save it now refresh it type in a number so that number is displayed here as the inner html of this element so we want to change this we want to calculate say for example uh, two percent of whatever the amount has been typed in so the way to do that is to multiply this value this number by zero two for example let me just tap this back so you can see everything in one go so this is our script if i save it now and run it again so commission on two thousand dollars would be 40 okay so this is how you save a user input into a variable in this case i'm calling this variable stored value and then we are manipulating this value we're calculating percentage so two percent of this value uh, is 40 and if i change the value to something else change the amount to something else the commission will change so this is how you save user input in a variable uh, which, which is um, a very useful technique in a lot of uh, uh, JavaScripts. Thank you very much.